Hello, my name is Mike Pfaff, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Now, I'm sharing the screen with my buddy here. Uh, it, it's, it's a uh, painting. Well, it's not a painting. It's a make-believe painting. But I thought it was kind of interesting. And elephants have always been uh, of an interest to me. Very peaceful most of the time and very quiet most of the time. And they can run much faster than you think they can. So they have a lot of good qualities. They're endangered in most places. Uh, they can be trained to work, uh, and they've done that for a lot of years. And now they're being replaced by mechanized equipment. So the poor little elephant, not so little, the poor little elephant has got to find another niche in this illusion. Now, it's been some time since uh, my last video, and I was on a uh, cruise uh, through the Panama Canal. And it took about 15 days. So, and I got my Panama shirt on. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, all I got was this Panama shirt. Uh, and I'm, and it was hot down there. It's, it's, uh, you know, here in Michigan, it's uh, the end of May, the 31st of May. But down in Panama, it's midsummer, and it's quite hot and quite humid. It was a great trip, and periodically I'll have some videos on, uh, on that. So, but right now, I wanted to talk about what's outside of you. What is outside of you? And how do you know what's outside of you? Now, some of this information we've covered in the past. And in the illusion, we believe there is things outside of us. There are objects, there are cars, there are trees, there are elephants. Well, I'm going to question that and see if you can see through the veil of the illusion and see what might really be there. So in a moment, we're going to change uh, my studio around and uh, use the whiteboard. Haven't used that for a while, so I want to make a diagram to give you an idea. So in a moment, we'll be right back. Well, we're back, and I put, I put our subject on the top of the board and divided it into the outside and the inside. Something we've done before. So let's see if we can make something out of this and to begin to recognize is anything outside of us. Now, in other videos, we have come to the conclusion that everything is outside of us. Oh, is this a paradox then? Now I'm saying, is anything outside? And before I said, everything was outside. So, let's put everything here, just to see if we can make some sense out of this. Every 
thing. And another thing in the past that I've mentioned is that this everything is in the form of energy. And there's a lot of it. And so we might even add infinite to this energy system outside of us. So I, I put a little diagram here of something that is not clear. And if you look real close, you'll see that the nose and the mouth represents a question mark. So this is something that we do not know that is outside of us. And therefore it is energy. Or maybe something else. So, is there anything outside of us? Yeah, everything as energy, however you define that. Now, even now, as you're watching this, you're sitting in a chair or in your car on, the, on your phone or wherever it is, without turning around, you can't prove anything is behind you. Now this is part of quantum physics. And you might even think of Edwin Schrodinger and the thought experiment, Schrodinger's cat. Now you can look that up on the internet and there'll be a lot of interesting information. Uh, basically, it says, you don't know anything exists anywhere until you can verify it with your sensory input. Now, however, however you describe sensory input. So, this unknown object here that I have drawn if you want to get the information inside, information about this object here, this question mark, you have to use your senses. So how many you got? We'll use the basic five. So you have five senses, uh, one, two, three, four, five. That you investigate this unknown outside object. Now, you do it very quickly. You do it extremely quickly. So quickly that your conscious mind never knows that you are bringing the information in. We'll come back to that in a moment. But you are taking the information in very quickly. And in other videos, I indicated that your senses, visual, auditory, sound, kinesthetic, touch, olfactory, smell, and gustatory, taste. So we got all five of our senses here. There are some other senses that are secondary, but these are the primary ones. So we take the information, the, the senses gather data about this unknown, about this unknown energy. This unknown, investigated by the senses, is turned into information. 
So let me say that again because this is very important. Your senses take in information. They do not take in this object, this unknown nebulous object. They take in information about the object. Now I've got to say that again. Your senses take in information about this outside energy, and now I'm going to call it a system, this outside energy unknown system. So you take in information inside of you. So you get the information inside. Each sense acquires different knowledge, information about the unknown. The, the uh, eyes, the visual, see certain things. The auditory will pick up different information. The kinesthetic or touch will pick up another aspect of this unique unknown object. Same thing with uh, uh, smell or, uh, and taste, gustatory and olfactory information. What do you do with it? What good is it? As received by the senses, what good is this information? What does it mean? Nothing. It means nothing. It is just data. So what do you do with it? The data must be interpreted. It's not what you're seeing out here. You don't see this. For instance, your visual, your visual uh, input is is all wavelengths of energy within the visual spectrum between around, I'm going to say 300 nanometers up to around seven, 800 nanometers. And each one of these senses are taking in different aspects. None of them can take in the whole picture, take in the whole thing. They all take in related to this. So somewhere inside of you, you interpret the information. It's not what's out here that is important. And therefore, it is nothing. Why? It doesn't mean anything as your senses deliver the information inside of you. So it is your inside processing, your program, your inside program that determines for you and only for you what this outside object is. Outside of you, the object is meaningless, is meaningless. Inside of you, the data that is interpreted by your inside program. What is the inside programming? What is the inside programming you, knew, you use to create this object? your past experience, what you're familiar with, your memories, your memories. Where are your memories stored? Nobody really knows. So because nobody really knows, we pick a place. And the, pay, and the place usually picked is a subconscious mind. So 
It's in the subconscious mind that your programming is, which is basically past memories. And from those inside of you, you create the object. All of the outside objects that you think are there are inside creations. Oh, that's the first lesson in A Course in Miracles in Lesson 1. And it's referenced in the description. Nothing you see means anything as you see it with your senses. Now, all of, I'm talking about all your senses, not just sight. It's meaningless. It's data. It's data running around looking to be interpreted. And you interpret it inside of you based upon your past. And you create the objects inside from your subconscious mind. And then the inside object created through your programming is projected onto the outside by your conscious mind. And since the conscious mind is the only thing that tells you what's going on, you believe that this object here, which is created in here, is outside of you. And you will lay that interpretation of the object onto the energy that's out here. Oh. You have no idea what you're looking at. No idea what's outside of you. If anything is there, until you interpret it inside of you. You are the creator of the world you have. And the magnificent thing is, if you recognize you're the creator, you can change your world. Why? It's your creation. Why? Because of your programming that is taking the input data and creating through your programming the world that you have. And you believe it's out here. No, your world created inside and my world created in me is different because we have different programming. What is the programming? The past. You have a different past than I do. Therefore, my world that I operate in has got to be different from your world, which is different from your significant other, which is different from anybody else. Many worlds, depending on who we are and what our programming is. And the magnificent thing is you can change your programming. You can be anything you want. A lot of people call that manifesting. Oh, I'm going to manifest. Not till you change your programming. Not till you change your programming. We'll talk more about that. Now, I'm going to insert a video clip that represents this outside energy and how the senses gather information. Now, it's only an idea. 
I'm not that good to, to make it perfect. But it's, think about it and give it some thought. The senses are picking up information unique to the sense. Your visual only picks up light waves of energy and converts them into electromagnetic and chemical signals. Your auditory picks up information against the eardrum and converts it into electromagnetic and chemical inputs, as well as all of the other senses. There's nothing but data that goes down the optic nerve. Nothing but data. And the data must be interpreted. The same thing with the auditory, the kinesthetic, the olfactory, and the gustatory information. It's just data converted into electromagnetic and chemical signals that you need to decode inside of you based upon your past experiences. And you create your world on the inside, not on the outside. What an interesting concept. But give this some thought. Nothing outside of you means anything until you interpret it inside of you. And that interpretation is unique to you. Be good to yourself. Be gentle to the world around you because it's your creation. And recognize you are a magnificent creator. And you can change it. Bye now.